Greetings from Career Master. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're keep, keeping safe. Thank you so much for the subscribers and all the people who keep on following the page. Those who have been commenting and giving a thumbs up to this YouTube channel. Remember, we are here to educate and to sharpen your skills when you're looking for a job or when you're preparing to go for an interview. Today we are going to discuss about how to prepare for an interview. Yes, how to prepare for an interview. Remember, when you have applied for a, jo for a job, there is two responses that you're going to get. Either this one, unfortunately, we were not able to proceed with um, <clears throat> to proceed with you for your candidacy, or you may be able to get um, an email like, "We are pleased to welcome you for the position of, let's say, customer service to company X." Well. The second one sounds so well. So today we are going to discuss of how you're going to prepare for an interview when you have been selected for a position you have applied for. So I'm going to give you five points that will guide you through. Point number one, research about the company. Yes, when you receive an email that you have been selected for an interview, go and research about that company. Visit their website. Go and look how long this company has been in operation. What is the services they offer or what is the goods they sell or what is the products they are actually engaging on. Number three, I mean, uh, under that, researching about the company, check also the cost of the products that they are having. How, how big the company is? I mean, is it a company that is having branches in different uh, countries? Is it the company that is having only four employees? I mean, you should know that. So research about that company. And by the way, this will help you answer one of the questions that the uh, most interviewers normally ask. Like, why did you apply for a job with us? Or why did you choose us instead of company so and so? So when you have researched about this company, you will be able to have the confidence and you will be able to answer questions such as that. So number one, research about the company. So point number two, have an up-to-date resume. Have a resume that is actually... Um, attractive a resume that is up to date with all information that you need especially for that job that you have applied for so um for example um uh, when you have applied for a job or a customer service prepare the best customer service cv there are so many online platforms whereby uh, you know the cv makers we have online platforms where you can look at the samples of the cvs um, that you can be able to prepare also it is advisable you put your picture on the resume it is not necessary but it is always advisable and i will tell you the reason is for example um when you have applied for a job as a customer service they need to see is this person that have applied for this job appealing to the guest is it someone who is jovial is it someone who can be you know friendly to the to, to the guest does it the, you know the official expression or i mean how you have portrayed your image will actually show it out for uh, another example is um for example you have applied for a job as a bouncer Many, many recruiters will ask you for a short video of you, you know, I mean, uh, on your workplace or describing yourself. They want to see this body. Like, I mean, is your body fit for that job of a bouncer? Or for instance, you've applied for a job as a waitress or a hostess. So the restaurant manager or the human resource or the recruiter want to see 
that is this is is this person more flexible to work for 12 hours or 14 hours moving around with the trays or does he have a body that will be you know <clears throat> uh, that will not make it possible for him or her to be able to work so when you're making your cv it's also advisable just to put your you know your picture uh, over there so the first one was researching about the company the second is to make an up to date resume or cv the third one is to prepare your attire yes to prepare your attire i didn't say that you need to to have a suit no it doesn't matter actually it depends with the job that you are you have applied for so but most probably most of the job it's better or advisable to wear a formal dress code just be sharp but remember we have some jobs like for example um um we have some jobs that you do not necessarily have to have to wear a formal you know a formal clothes uh like for instance uh, you are a saloonist i mean you can just go there with your dreadlocks you know it doesn't matter oh uh, for example you've applied for a job like um you know like um, you know these swimming jobs i mean for them normally uh they really don't require you to go for an interview with a you know formally dressed with an official cloth no not at all so make sure that the job you've applied for you wear the best attire according to that job prepare the attire and by the way when are you supposed to be preparing this is it the day that you're going for uh, for an interview no you need to prepare this one in advance I made one mistake uh, recently. I was employed for two years, and um, when I was called for an interview for the for, 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 for my second job, I didn't I didn't realize that my body has actually changed. So I was assuming that I have a suit, I have one pair of suit where when I am called for an interview, any place I can be able to use it, and that was a very big mistake because the day that I was going for an interview, when I tried to put on the suit, it was not fitting me <laughs> it was not fitting me and i was so disappointed i was so disappointed because you know this is this is last minute and you're not supposed to be moving around to shop uh for the clothes that you're supposed to be using in an interview so when you're preparing your attire or the clothes that you're going to wear in an interview make sure you prepare it in advance two three days before so just in case it's not clean you can clean it just just in case it doesn't fit you you can be able to do alterations or you can get a new one and that was point number three to prepare the attire for the job you you're going i mean for an interview for point number four is to check online the possible questions and answers yes and by the way you are in the right channel because make sure you have subscribed here because we will be giving you all the possible questions and answers that you require for an interview make sure uh, that uh, the questions and answers that you're actually looking for is actually in line with the job that you have applied for for example you've applied for a cabin crew make sure when you're checking like questions and answers that i can be able to you know questions that i can be able to be asked uh you know for a cabin crew interview it will display all of it uh, um uh online be it in youtube or google and you know what in this channel we are going to discuss all those questions all those questions about the interview uh, that you can be able to get all the departments we are going to actually cover all the sectors mep that is mechanical electrical plumbing education health sector customer service aviation etc etc in this channel we are going to discuss all the possible questions and answers so make sure to hit that subscribe button so anytime we produce a video like this youtube will automatically notify you and you'll be sharpened for an interview okay that was point number four so the last point is arriving for an interview early i want to remind you that you are not the only person that has been called for an interview so recruiters will do their best way possible to make sure that they eliminate the others 
For example, you are 20 people who have been called for an interview and all of you are actually educated, well-skilled, have all the experiences required. So what will make the recruiter or the person who is going to interview you to root out to you and eliminate the others? Let coming most probably is one of the way uh, that you can be able to, you know, count yourself out. Count, you might be having the necessary skills, but arriving for an interview late, it is not acceptable. It's better to arrive two to three hours earlier than to arrive late. Remember, the interviewer can, can, can inform the security, you know what, after 10 people close the gate. So it doesn't matter the interview is supposed to, to, you know, to start at nine. But as long as the 10 people have already arrived, that's it. I only need one person. So I already have 10. It's 8.45. That's enough. So make sure to arrive early during an interview. Yes, those are the five points that I wanted you to get to prepare for an interview. Research about the company. Make an app to date resume or CV, prepare your attire that you're going to wear during an interview. Number four, check online the possible questions and answers. And point number five is to arrive early in an interview. Thank you so much for watching the video. And you can put your comments or any additional information that you, you feel it's actually necessary for the channel. You can, you can mention it there down. Thank you so much for all the followers and the subscribers. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.